Uh, hi, Mr. Fingers. Here? Yeah. Here, you're right there. Hi, Mr. Fingers. Uh, Matt Nadell, uh, MLB.com's youngest pro blogger. How you doing today? Hi, how are you? Nice uh, to see you. Blogger, all right. Yeah. Uh, is it okay if I ask you a couple questions? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see you there that you have, you still have your heralded mustache. How do you get it so crisp and clean? Uh, well, I take a shower every morning and then I put mustache wax on it. I've been doing it for 40 years, so I've uh, been, doing, been doing it for a long time. Okay, so I know you were a reliever, and why do you think the, uh, statistic of the save was added to the MLB in 1967? Uh, I think just uh, just something to give uh, relief pitchers a, a statistic to uh, you know to show how good they were and uh, that's how it all started a guy by the name of Jerome Holtzman he's the guy who uh, came up with the save idea and uh, that was in 1969 when he started it and it's been that way ever since. Okay, uh, so now that you are a retired Hall of Famer, what do you like to do in your spare time? I uh, play a lot of golf. I do a lot of charity work with golf tournaments. Uh, do a lot of meet and greets, uh, shaking hands, and uh, and uh, corporate corporate outings. I do. I keep pretty busy. So in 1981, you were AL MVP and Cy Young Award winner. I think you were the first reliever to do both. Uh, so do you think you set the tone for that closers are just as important or as good as pitchers, or uh, uh, starting pitchers? I think that started a little bit before I, I did that. I mean, the relief pitching has been around for a long time. It's just that uh, I think maybe in 1968, 69 is when uh, I think organizations realized that uh, they needed a, a guy in the bullpen to uh, close out ball games at the uh, seventh, eighth, and ninth innings. And uh, that's basically how it got started because before then, uh, your starting pitchers were getting complete games, a lot more complete games. So uh, uh, I think that's when, uh, it, when people realized that uh, it was always nice to have a relief pitcher in the bullpen. So you won back to back to back World Series from 72 to 74 with the Oakland Athletics. How did it feel to play under the eccentric Charlie A. Finley? Uh, it was not a whole lot of fun. Uh, you know, not too many people like Charlie Finley, and, uh, you know, I was one of them. Uh, it was just the fact that he was our owner. And, uh, you know, he, uh, this was before free agency, so we didn't make a whole lot of money. But uh, uh, I was uh, glad to get away from Charlie when I got uh, went into free agency and, uh, and went with the San Diego Padres. Uh, so, do you currently still wear your World Series rings from that era? Uh, I wear the Hall of Fame ring. Sometimes I'll, I'll wear the World Series rings, but I usually wear the Hall of Fame ring that I got. Okay. And when did you start actually getting into baseball? Like, at what age as a child or, like, when? You know, my dad played uh, minor league baseball. Him and Sam Usual were roommates in uh, Cardinal organizations years ago, and so uh, I grew up around baseball. So I started playing when I was probably six or seven. Okay. Uh, well, thanks for taking the time to talk with me today, Raleigh. Very nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Wow.